Hey, what is going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we'll be taking a look at how to mine Etika. Now that's E-T-I, not E-Gaz or E-G-A-Z. If you want to mine E-Gaz, it's basically an ETC hash algorithm. We're going to be focusing on the SHA-3 Solidity algorithm or E-T-I currency, and we're going to walk through how to do that. Now hashrate.no is a great tool to find out what you probably should be using for your GPU as far as benchmarks they got all the amd and nvidia gpus and you can just find your selected gpu and see what the core offset uh the core lock and mem should be this is a very core intensive algorithm so uh if you have those presets already configured on your windows or uh even your hive os uh, just go ahead and use that configuration it should be just fine i will have links down in the description to help you out uh like for where to get the wallet and stuff like that but i'm just using the uh, Windows version um, you can build it yourself if you really wanted to I'll have this link down below but if we scroll on down I just downloaded the Windows Etika wallet 1.0.7 updates keep on coming and the wallet is very simple very plain Jane nothing too crazy I will say just like it is with every other wallet out there once you download this uh, you know file and, and uh, basically extract it you're going to go to that folder and double click the Etika wallet app. And then when you get this loaded up, it's going to walk you through the process of setting up your wallet. You can either import or create, just create a new one. If you don't have one already, you're going to be presented with a seed phrase, back that up securely in a safe place. You're going to still need that seed phrase because it's going to require you to put it in, uh, you know, with the first word, second word, third word, go all the way through that and then type in a password of your choice to protect yourself and then let that bad boy sync up. Once you're here, You'll see your public address. You could just select your public address and you need that for either the flight sheet or the Windows Miner. Now, the Windows Miner is the Solidity SHA-3 Miner Etika. It's actually from the team itself. Uh, you want to identify the pool you want to mine on. There's not a lot of pools out there right now, uh, but I do plan uh, for some updates to come your way. Uh, stay tuned. Just all That's all I'm going to say on it. But you just choose the best pool for your setup, your configuration, your area. we got a... U.S. base pool, uh, OX pool, uh, we got Etika pool, which is in the Netherlands. We got Australia, Germany, Canada, and Taiwan. Just choose what's best for you. Obviously, if you're in Taiwan and you connect to the Germany one and you got a good ping, then maybe that will work for you as well. Just identify that. You already got your wallet and your wallet address. You choose a pool, and when you go to the pool, whichever one it is, you'll see at the very top, here is the server and port. Now, this isn't the usual, you know, Stratum TC plus TCP type setup. You're just going to copy the beginning aspect. Leave off the HTTP colon slash slash, uh, no matter which pool you choose. And on the Windows setup, you know, they have a guide that I'm going to have linked in in the description. But basically, you got a, a Linux uh, di distribution or, you know, minor. And then you have a Windows one. When you click this, it's just going to go to your downloads. And it's just a zip folder. And then when you extract that folder, you're going to have a couple of files in here. They're Windows uh, command files. And you want to just go to this one right here, Etika Pool 8081. Right click. And if you're on Windows 11, show more options, edit. If you're on Windows 10, right click, edit. And when that notepad pops up, you just want to edit it and change a couple of things. First thing, obviously change your address. Second thing, um, you don't want to mine with your CPU. You could if you want to, but you don't want to mine with your CPU. So that should be on false by default. And then for if you have an Intel GPU, you can leave that true. True. Um, since I have an AMD system uh, with an AMD CPU that has an integrated GPU, I put AMD false because it was trying to use my integrated graphics. Uh, so if you have an Intel CPU with integrated graphics, you might want to turn that to false as well. But CUDA is for NVIDIA, so I left that true because I'm running my 3080. I turned off the CPU and I turned off AMD just to make sure that only the 3080 is running. And you can see here on the Windows setup, it does use the HTTP colon slash slash. What I was referring to, though, is the Hive setup, which we're about to go into. But once you have that configured, you update your address, you tell it whether or not you want to mine with the CPU and what GPU you have. Save that. You can give it a different name, but I just save over the existing one. 
And then let's go ahead and uh, scroll on down. You'll see the miner right here. And you can see that I also have OX pool as well set up. It's basically the same, a little bit of differences. Um, but with this particular miner, again, just update your address, change the pool to the correct server slash port, and then change whether or not you're going to mine with your CPU or just GPU only. Once you have all that set, you just double click the Windows file and the miner will load up. This is what the miner looks like. I'm bringing it over to you right now. And nothing too crazy, plain Jane, but you can log into your local host uh, via the IP address, uh, you know, 127.0.0.1 colon 478 and or 4078. And if we refresh it, what you'll see is the numbers will change, right? So the latency number will change. Uh, the number of accepted shares, rejected shares will change, and the hash rate will change. So that's where we're sitting right now. We're just verifying we are connected to the pool and showing. And if we actually go to the pool page, we can see that, right? So our hash rate is climbing up. We can see the number of ETI that we've earned so far. That doesn't mean we got paid out. You'll see I have zero payouts on this wallet address. Um, and then we can see further details over here if we really wanted to. Uh, again, uh, future pools are coming. Bear with everybody. Um, but hopefully we get a little bit more fine-tuned, granular detail, and better graphs in the future. As far as Hive OS goes, you can see we've got our NVIDIA system hooked up. I, I do like to use the Solidity Miner on my Windows system, and then when I'm t when I'm using Hive on, I'm using TT Miner. So uh, overclocks, again, use hash rate dot no. Basically, people are sitting around 1500, maybe 1450 lock core plus 200 to 250 uh, core offset and bring the memory down as much as possible, you know, 810, negative 3000, whatever works for your operating system. Uh, flight sheet wise, I got two of them set up. I got one for OX pool and one for, uh, you know, Etika pool. Coin, you choose ETI. Wallet, if you don't have a wallet, you can always add, put in your Etika wallet address, name it, give it whatever you want. Don't worry about the source and then create. And then pool, you're gonna configure in minor. And then when you click the drop down for miners, just look for TT miner and then choose set up miner config. Now in Hive, I don't like to use the latest because I don't always grab the latest. And there's even a beta version that's out that this isn't even talking to yet. It should be out in the future um, at time of recording, but it just choose the latest version. And then the wallet, some people are doing one of two things. They either doing uh, the wallet or the actual like address, the actual wallet address. So either the wallet command or the address for Etika pool, but for zero X pool or OX pool, you want the wallet dot worker. So you would come over here to this I and you click that right there and that will work just fine. But for Etika pool, do not put the worker name, just FYI. And then again, removing the HTTP uh, colon slash slash, we have the server and port that works. Take away the X and password and then because we're using TT Miner, we want to tell it that we want, we want to focus on ETI. It should automatically, it was working when I didn't use this extra config argument. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to, you can do that. Now, TT Miner has a bunch of other commands. If you want to lock the core, the offset, and the power limit, here are the commands right here. We could just copy that over into um, the extra config arguments. And now our GPUs will be locked at that core clock at that offset and at that power limit but not all my gpus are going to be in that range so we're going to take that off right there and you do what's best for you and then you just apply changes give it a name and then update or save and you're good to go just a real quick interruption just wanted to show you this i switched back over to the solidity miner here is my flight sheet or here's how i have it configured but this is pinned in the etica uh mining channels uh uh, messages so pin messages check it out but there is the setup and configuration the only extra config arguments i have is the override command don't forget the double dash when it comes to hive um, and then http does get applied on the pool if you're going to be using the solidity miner if you're going to be using tt that http needs to go okay uh, also as i mentioned don't use the worker name if you're on etika pool but use it if you're on ox pool and just tune your GPUs accordingly. You can use uh, base commands to do it, but I'm just doing it through Hive when I'm using the Solidity Miner. And then with TT Miner, you can do it with the extra config arguments as well. And just use the overclocks or similar overclocks to what you see or already have 
that you might have complied from hashrate.no. Now for the OX pool, as I mentioned, I already have one here. Slight differences, all it is is wallet.worker name instead of just wallet by itself. And then the OX pool.io colon 80 password, I left a blank C equals ATI or space ETI. And that's it. I'm probably going to switch over to that pool because right now you can see a lot of people are complaining about rejected shares. And if we look at my miner in Hive, uh, we are getting a lot of rejected shares. We got 13 accepted, 11 rejected. And if we go to my miner, which I always connect via putty, uh, we're, we're, we can coordinate that or we can uh, verify that. You can see 11 rejected, 13 accepted here at the bottom. Uh, you can see each GPU. Now, uh, some people are saying they're switching pools and that's what it is. It might not be Etika pool. It could be a number of different things. You might even bump into an error uh, where you might be getting the kernel error. Make sure you update your NVIDIA drivers, uh, especially if you haven't turned on your Hive on system in a while. I'm on NVIDIA driver 525.125.06. Just make sure you have your drivers up to date. Make sure you don't have your overclocks too high or, or that it's applying the wrong overclock. Um, you know, there might be some kernel errors. But come over into the Discord, the Etika Discord, the mining channel. Really good people in here sharing information with one another, trying to help out. Uh, on a Windows uh, system, uh, I would, uh, I don't know how to say this uh, elegantly. TT Miner threw up some red flags that I didn't quite like. Uh, I already advised the dev. Um, it could be a lot of false positives, but there are some concerning aspects of TT Miner. Not even the late, not just the latest version, but version, uh, you know, this one right here as well. Uh, I think it just needs, you know, some code cleanup, some some kernel cleanup, some binary cleanup. But uh, there was an audit that I did. I haven't published it yet, um, and I just want to avoid it on my windows system i don't mind using tt miner on my hive or my linux based system but for windows i'm using the solidity miner uh and if you were using tt miner on a windows based system you can basically use this configuration right here where it's tt miner you know log pool log luck right and this is for ox pool i believe uh no it's actually for etika pool and i don't you see i don't have that command in there and I noticed that not a lot of other people have that command in there as well. If you go look at their their flight sheets, um, I saw one person with the dot dash luck, but I have not utilized it for myself. Maybe that does help out in some form or fashion, but as you can see here, it you know it's not. Maybe maybe that's why I'm getting rejected shares right there is to override max target because I am on Etika pool, but I know for OX pool, um, it is not necessary. But here for TT Miner on windows you got a command line for pools with https and then you got a command line for pools without it and you can just go through it and kind of change the address to yours and then it's dot worker name so replace the tt dash dev at and then the pool url dot colon with your worker name and the pool you want and you should be good to go on windows i'll try to get that audit out as soon as possible but that's pretty much it man we're rocking and rolling still fine tuning still tweaking uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, recommendations, please feel free to, you know, drop it down below. Uh, I do not use the luck command, but I might try it right now to add that into the extra config and then maybe go grab that override command. Um, since I'm on Etika pool, you don't need that for OX, but you need that for uh, the normal Etika pool, it seems. So let me know what you're doing. If you're mining Etika, if you're not mining Etika, what you think of Etika. Let me know all that down in the description or down in the comments. And do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day.